These self-portraits were painted by Yazidi women who had escaped ISIS captivity during a workshop with British artist Hannah Rose Thomas. These women have experienced unimaginable suffering at the hands of ISIS and an unimaginable dehumanization and they have lost loved ones and still many of them have children in the hands of ISIS. And this process of painting their portraits has been intended to give them a sense of their value and also of having a voice. At the beginning the women were so cautious in taking up the pencil. The women have never even painted before in their lives, gone to school or even drawn, and they would believe that they were incapable of doing this. And they have produced these works of art in just a few days. I think that when these women are able to express something of their sorrow and grief on paper, it is a way to ensure that it's heard and seen by the rest of the world. These women's paintings, alongside Hannah's portraits of the women, have gone on to be displayed at the Houses of Parliament. They don't know it yet, but this exhibition has sparked a conversation with the British government about helping the Yazidi women with their education and job training. This was what I was hoping would be shown through this exhibition of their work. For the women's portraits, alongside the paintings that I've done, to be shared and to travel around the world to share the stories of the women. I'm interested in how art can be used as a powerful tool for advocacy and for giving a voice to the voiceless. These women are very much survivors with extraordinary dignity and resilience and courage that they've given them all that they've experienced. <laughs>